Reactive arthritis, formerly known as Reiter syndrome, is a rare autoimmune condition primarily affecting the joints, which develops in response to an infection in another part of the body. Typically, the infection affects the genitourinary or gastrointestinal tract, although it can often go unnoticed by the individual. The immune system reacts to the infection's causative agent, usually a bacteria, and due to structural similarities between the bacteria and the body's tissues, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's tissues. Reactive arthritis is more common in individuals who are positive for the HLA B27 gene, a genetic marker that increases susceptibility to certain inflammatory conditions like psoriasis and ankylosing spondylitis. Symptoms of reactive arthritis often start several days to three weeks following a genitourinary or gastrointestinal infection. The main symptom is usually pain and swelling of a single large joint, like the knee. Less often, it involves other joints, like the ankles, hips, and smaller joints in the feet, or affects multiple joints. There can also be inflammation of tendons where they connect to bone, called enthesitis, as well as inflammation of the fingers, called dactylitis, also known as sausage fingers. In addition to joint pain, Individuals often develop symptoms in other parts of the body, notably the urethra and conjunctiva of the eyes. When the urethra is involved, it can lead to burning pain with urination, and when the conjunctiva is affected, it causes inflammation or conjunctivitis, which leads to redness of the eyes. Rarely, reactive arthritis can cause skin lesions affecting the palms and soles of the feet, as well as ulcers in the glands of the penis. Reactive arthritis is often self-limiting and usually fades over the course of a year without causing any permanent joint damage or immobility. However, in a small percentage of individuals, the condition may become chronic, with symptoms persisting after the acute phase. There is no single definitive test for reactive arthritis. Ultimately, diagnosis is made clinically based on the history of a previous infection that may be associated with the development of the condition. In cases where the diagnosis is unclear, an arthrocentesis may be done to examine the synovial fluid, which is the fluid that surrounds joints. Additionally, cultures may be performed on stool samples to look for bacteria, as well as urine samples and swabs from the urethra, cervix, and throat. Although not routinely performed, testing for the HLA B27 gene is often positive in those with reactive arthritis. Treatment focuses on identifying the underlying infection and supportive care. If the infection is still present, individuals can be prescribed an appropriate course of antibiotics. Additionally, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, can be used for symptom relief. If symptoms continue, then oral steroids or steroid injections administered within the affected joint can be used to decrease inflammation. Finally, immunomodulatory medications like sulfasalazine or methotrexate may be given to help control the symptoms in individuals with chronic disease. All right, as a quick recap, reactive arthritis, formerly known as Reiter syndrome, is a rare autoimmune condition primarily affecting the joints that develop secondary to an infection. The initial infection typically occurs in the genitourinary or gastrointestinal tracts and then triggers inflammation, typically of a single large joint, and can also be associated with inflammation of the urethra and conjunctiva. Diagnosis is made clinically based on history and physical examination, and treatment includes anti-inflammatory medications. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.